Coast Life. Like we've been saying, today is pie day. Yum. And earlier in the show, I was saying, and remember, I was like, ooh, fingers crossed that we're going to have some pizza pie. It's the Italian Rizzo blood. I just, yeah. I love pizza. What can I say? <laughs> so lucky for us, we are hanging out with Chef Frank Granito. Thank you so much for having us in your home. Yes. Well, benvenuti nella mia cucina. So today, yes, we do have pie day. Yes. We have a couple of surprises for you. All right, well first, before we even get into the pies, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. Intr introduce yourself to mm -hmm. our viewers. Well, this is a second career for me. Mm -hmm. um, I spent a lifetime in the information technology field. Uh, very nice, mm -hmm. but my passion was always cooking. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, our daughter, uh, who grew up in an Italian home, mm -hmm. got the pastry bug. She yes. went to culinary school uh, as part of her college uh, curriculum mm -hmm. and uh, she came home uh, from school wearing her uh, uniform for the first day and I said oh my gosh you're mm -hmm. living my dream when, when I grow up I want to be just like you <laughs> yeah, cute. so uh, coincidentally I was taking uh, a conversational Italian class mm -hmm. at Anne Arundel Community mm -hmm. College I go there to pay the bill I'm expecting to pay 150 bucks the lady behind the counter says, well, that'll be $7. And I said, $7? She nice. says, yes, you're in a different age group. Ah. <laughs> so I said... That was sweet of her. I, <laughs> it, was, it was very delicate. So I came home and I said, guess what, guys? I'm in a different age group. So right then and there, I decided, well, I'll just go to culinary school. Uh, just to fulfill a lifelong dream. Yeah. And that was back in 2019. Wow. Uh, awesome. Before the pandemic, obviously. So uh, that's my story. So then I retired mm -hmm. from the information technology field and now I'm uh, acting as a private chef, chef wow. instructor. We moved down here full time and uh, it is so enjoyable to wow. cook in the kitchen every day. Yes. And, uh, well, thanks well. for having us in your home and teaching us hopefully how to cook a little bit. Exactly. I think yeah. we want to be you when we grow up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we do. It's so, even better. Uh, let's dive into what we're going to be mm -hmm. making today. So tell us a little bit. Well, before we do that, let's yeah. talk a little bit about um, the the um, underlying genesis of the cuisine yeah. we're talking about here. So um, you've heard a lot about blue zones. Mm -hmm. uh, it just so happens, and there's no coincidence that there are two blue zones in the Mediterranean: uh -huh. Sardinia, Italy, and Icaria, Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Those two islands and their cuisine match up very well with Mediterranean cuisine. Yep. Okay. You hear a lot about Mediterranean cuisine, mm -hmm. Mediterranean diet. Mm -hmm. Well, the Mediterranean diet and Blue Zone diet, Blue Zones are basically where people live longer, happier, mm -hmm. healthier. Yeah. Right. Uh, and that's the same way in the Mediterranean. Yes. And the Mediterranean, um, it's more than a diet, it's a lifestyle mm. focused around family, mm. the kitchen mm -hmm. as the center of the universe, community, things yes. of that nature. It is pie day, good, yes. good transition. Yes. <laughs> so what we're doing today, uh, yeah, I spoke uh, yesterday uh -huh. with, with your folks and yep. said, well, you needed something for pie day. Okay. So I quickly called an audible. I said, you know what? If you're Italian, what is the ultimate pie? Pizza pie. There you go, <laughs> yeah. We're going to build a pizza on the air. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, no mistakes, please. I can't promise that. Yeah. So, we're going to make a pizza, we'll get it in the oven, and I also have a very special dessert mm -hmm. uh, called a pasticciotto. Mm -hmm. a pasticciotto is a little handheld mm -hmm. Italian pie. Mm -hmm. So, pizza pie, little dessert pie. pie. Perfect. Dessert pie, perfect. So, let's get started. Okay. Yes. All of my so sleeves up. So, if you're making a pie, you're basically you're going to be pushing it out with your fingers. <laughs> right. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> so what I suggest you do, one of you can throw the sauce on. Okay. You're not, you're, you need to, you don't have an apron. I think you it, got the sauce. Wear the dark colors. Yeah. Start in the middle and spread it around. This is a very important job, Leah. Oh gosh. Very important. Yeah. The pressure. I know. It's very simple. It's a very simple pizza here. We're just going to make a pizza with cheese. All right. I like the sound of that. Nothing wrong with a cheese nope. pizza for no, pie day, nothing. you know? Cheese, just spread it All out. All right. Start in the middle and push out. Okay. I'm not promising it's going to look beautiful, but it doesn't have we're to look just beautiful. Gonna... It's going to eat just the same. Perfect. That's what I say every time I cook for my fiance. I say, "Here you go. It doesn't look good." <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know if it's going to taste good either, but it should taste better than it looks. So I'm sorry. I'm interrupt. I'm doing this. No, 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 no. Handle it. it. He saw all our skills. That's over. right. He was oh. like, "Take it from here." <laughs> I would say pizza stone is a must, Ooh. and a ripping hot oven. 550, and most home ovens will go that high, and we'll just slide that baby right in there. 
this looks and smells, smells heavenly. Yes. But it's, it's a little bit hot right now, so we are gonna let that cool. And while it does, we're gonna prep our taste buds for not only the savory pizza, mm -hmm. but a, a little sweet pizza on the way. Mm. That's when we get back. We are back with our friend, Chef Frank, and we just told you a minute ago the pizza is cooling. Mm. We can't wait to eat it, but oh. first, Leah, we talked about this yesterday on the show. If I'm gonna eat something a little salty, I need something sweet afterwards. So we have a dessert pie for pie day. I'm calling it a pie, but Chef Frank, what is it? Well, it is a pie. It okay. is a little pie. Mm. It's Here's a posticciotto. Okay. So it's a, an Italian handheld little pie. It's a nice short dough, sucre dough, filled with pastry cream. Yum. Absolutely delicious. And I remember mm. watching your show yesterday. Mm -hmm. You were sweet, you were savory. That's is right. That's right. right. That? Sweet, okay. salty, you watch it. That's right. Perfect like, conclusion to our great yeah. debate. Yep. <laughs> so you're going to have pizza for dessert, and you will have the pasticciot as yes. an entree. You get right. it. Exactly. <laughs> so the way I usually serve this mm -hmm. is dust it with a little powdered Ooh. sugar. And you'll notice Ooh. I'm gloving, because I'm, I'm handling mm -hmm. things that people are going to eat. So the big <laughs> unveil. I don't think I've ever tried this. Have you? No, I haven't. I'm so excited. Pasticciotto. Pasticciotto. Perfect. Very, very good. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Perfect. Well, um, I think it's time to eat the pizza too, right? We want to eat the pizza first. Well, why don't Maybe you? we'll kind of do one and one. How you about pick. That? Let's why do it. Why don't we take the pizza, okay. put the pasticciotto on the Ooh. pizza, fold it up, and now, eat it that way. Now we're like, talking salty now sweet. Now we're talking, right? <laughs> thank you. Right. Oh, look, look at that beautiful dough. Look at that. <laughs> See that? Yum. It smells even, so good. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Thank you. you. Crust is Perfect. Crusting. Okay. Exactly. As, we, <laughs> as we say in my house, mm -hmm. and boca a lupo. And boca a lupo. A lupo? Which, as bravo, Thank means you. in the mouth of the wolf. Oh, wow. Which can okay. be mean anything from good luck to bon appetit. So, okay. And boca a lupo. Well, let's try this first thing All together right. and uh, do a little cheers action. Here we go. Boom. Mmm. Heard that mm. crunch, mm. didn't you? Mm. Oh yeah. This is the perfect way to celebrate Pi Day. If you're not doing it this mm -hmm. way, you're not doing it right, I'm telling you. Pi Day is my favorite day. Hey. Oh yeah, this is really good. I'm, I always make the mistake, I always eat a bigger bite <laughs> than you. And then I can't talk. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, uh, while they're <laughs> chewing, I will, uh, I will uh, stretch this out a little bit. Uh, this is a beautiful dessert. So the pastry bite. cream no. is uh, kind of a standard recipe. Um, mm. You know, eggs, cream, milk, cornstarch for thickener on the stove, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, you make the dough. You you can bake the dough, and then you you can pipe the cream right into it, mm -hmm. cover it up, bake it a little bit more, Perfect. and it all stays in there. So awesome. I wasn't gonna wipe off any sauce I have on my face, but I think I'll wait. I think mean, we're just dying Let's to see. dive into the next one. No, too. you look good. Okay, you thanks. Good. In case I get yeah. powdered sugar on my face. I, right. Yeah. So, so, two for one. Yeah. <laughs> so here is your sweet. Lovely. Ooh. Thank you. The chaser. Yeah. Mm. Man, that pizza's good. I know. I already had three bites while he, he was talking. I know. <laughs> I'm like hiding it while he's discussing. Well, I tell you what, while you're eating that, mm -hmm. I'm going to eat this. Good All right. Idea. Sounds good. Perfect. All right. Cheers All right. again. Cheers again. Oh, you know, mm. I have to agree with you. This is really good. Mm -hmm. If I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. This so, I said, so the pizza was the perfect way to kick off your pie day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this is the perfect way to finish off your pie day. Exactly. So what do you think about that? This is amazing. The texture is perfect. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not like overly sweet. It's not overbearing. It's not. It's just and that's like, a good point because, mm -hmm. um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all do it. Um, Italian and even Greek desserts, mm -hmm. my wife is Greek, mm -hmm. are not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because th that just, flavors have to be even, mm -hmm. right? So you want a nice mix of of, of sweetness that doesn't overtake the actual flavors. It's perfect. And I don't know if anybody knows that in almost any baked good, you always put a little bit of salt. Ah. Mm -hmm. So you don't get the salty taste. Mm -hmm. What the salt does is help distribute the flavors. Mm -hmm. So I can always yeah. tell when I eat a dessert if it doesn't have salt. Good point. Because you get this um, level of sweetness and then it goes away. Mm -hmm. But if you put a little salt in there, the flavors are distributed and the flavors linger on your palate. Mm -hmm. no, so just perfect. a little uh, fun fact to know and tell. This Always a little bit of salt in right, well, a baked good. Thank you so much yeah. for spoiling us with this, but if viewers are, their mouths are watering, yeah. you're actually a personal chef too, right? I am a private chef. Private and, if, chef. and if anybody uh, wants to get a hold of me, very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Go to www.chef.com. 
frankgranito.com. Perfect. Everything you want to know about me is on that page. Perfect. Every day will be pie day yes. at your house. This time around. <laughs> Perfect. Well, you guys, we I'm, I'm going to finish eating this. Oh, me too. I'm always caught chewing with my mouth full, so <laughs> so sorry. But you guys, we have more close life coming your way. We'll be back in just a minute.